Creating initial inventory in SPX is very easy. With our quick setup, you'll be up and running in minutes. If you're looking to add more inventory into your SPX account or to modify your setup, head over to the Inventory tab. You'll see all the inventory that you've previously created sorted by apps. Now let's say we've got an aspiring iOS app developer with our first gaming app already integrated and we're looking to set up a new news app for monetization now that it's ready. If we select the plus new app button, we'll see the familiar app creation dialog. Choose your application's OS, in this case iOS, and enter its name. If you'd be adding a mobile site, you'd have to select mobile site. Now, let's paste our app's download link here. If possible, always make sure to provide your app's download link or your mobile site's site link. A valid link may improve your inventory's ranking and performance in the ad exchange. Next, we'll need to set up at least one ad space. Let's assume that we're planning to ramp up monetization slowly, so we'll start with only one ad space on the main page. Pick a dimension and also a category and ad position if possible. Same as above, the more complete your information is, the better your monetization potential in the exchange will be. Also, if an ad space has a category or a subcategory different from its app, such as an ad space on the sports section of a news app, select the appropriate one, we'll be passing both categories into the exchange. Let's click Save and we'll see a confirmation that our app has been created in our account, and we'll see an overview of the options to integrate. If you'd like to change something later, you can click on the app and edit the app settings at any time by selecting Edit Settings. Let's assume that we wanted to take some time to write a description for our app. Now we can update that description. Back in the app overview, you'll also see its ad spaces. Assuming that we like how the first ad space is performing, and we want to add a second ad space on the sports section, let's create a new ad space. As the ad space's category, let's select Sports. Selecting the most precise and fitting category will increase ad relevance, which usually boosts revenue as well. If we select an ad space, we'll get to its overview, showing a list of connected line items. This means that the demand configured in that line item is being served to our ad space. At first, we'll see one line item there, the Smato Default Exchange line item. This line item is connected to all ad spaces by default upon creation so that we can start seeing Smato ads automatically. Also, from the overview, we can toggle a line item status directly in the list, review the line item's targeting settings by hovering over the info icon, and edit the ad spaces settings by selecting Edit Settings. In this case, let's assume that we've selected a header ad position originally, but I've decided that a footer position would work better. So let's quickly change that. For more information on using SPX, head over to wiki.smado.com.